what it's done is it's created a new layer with a new mask on top of my old mask and it's switched my old layer off. Now I need to go ahead and fix the top of the head here. So once again, I'll come up to Select, Refine Mask, and now I'm going to play around with these options so I can bring in the top of the hair here. So I think the first thing I need to do is grab my Shift Edge option here and drag it to the right. And we can see now we're including a lot more of the top of the head. And we can bring it to about there. And I might just increase the contrast a little bit as well. There, that looks pretty good. And I'll click OK. And now it's created another layer and switched off my old one. Now I like what it's done with the top of the head here, although this mask down here with the fine hair is absolutely rubbish. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch on the original layer underneath it, and click on this mask to make a selection of it, and switch this layer off. Select the layer mask of the layer underneath it, get onto the brush tool by hitting the B key, at 100%, double zero, and I'm just going to run my brush over this mask using the selection of the last layer I just switched off. Command D to deselect. And so now we have a fairly accurate mask of the hair. Now I'm going to get rid of the layers which I no longer need, such as the last one I used. So I'll drag that into the trash. And our original layer down here, the duplicator layer, drag that into the trash. If I option click on my layer mask, I can see that we don't have a perfect mask here. We've got some areas which weren't selected and which need to be painted into, such as the middle of the face here, and even this area down here on the inside of the arm, which is a little bit faded. And I can either go into this layer mask and paint into it with a white foreground in order to get rid of this, or I can cheat a little bit. If I go into my Paths palette here, I've already depetched this image around the block areas of the model. In other words, I've depetched around the arm nice and deep inside the hairline here, making sure I haven't captured any of the studio background in my path. And when I come to the ear, I've accurately deep etched around it, around the jaw, around the neck, and so on, including this little gap between the arm and the waist. So now all I have to do is command click on that path to select it, back into my layers palette, and with my layer mask selected and white as my foreground color, I just have to fill this selection with white. So because white is my foreground color, I just have to hit Option Delete to fill my foreground color into the mask. Command D to deselect. And now we have a fairly accurate mask of the hair. But if I look at the top of the head here, I can see that the edge is a little bit sharper than the average edge around this softer part of the hair. So one little trick we can do is with our layer mask selected, get onto our lasso tool by hitting the L key, scoop up this area which I think is just a little bit harsh, come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and with a radius of, a, of about one pixel, we click OK, Command D to deselect, and we've just softened the edge of the top of the head so it's a little more uniform and in keeping with the rest of the hair. And so that's how you can mask out hair using Refine Edge or Refine Mask in CS5.